Thank you very much. His uh, Royal Majesty Yona being represented here today by the Professor Yakubu, the Regional Minister who is also once again represented here by our Honorable MC, my own mother, who also happens to be the chairperson of such an important local organizing committee tasked with such a big responsibility that has been excellently delivered. My board chairman and the board members who managed to come with him, my board chairman once again who also represents our own Honorable Minister for Youth and Sports, Honorable Mustafa Yusuf, the lawyer, my own brother Sambien, who also happens to be the regional secretary for Northeast of the ruling party NPP, who also happens to be a representative for our own vice president who would have wished to be here. The various stakeholders, especially the Ghana Athletics Association, who is represented here by the CEO and also the president, the sister sports associations who are here, the members, the GES, the security services, the police, the fire service, the ambulance services, our various regional directors of the National Sports Authority from the 16 regions, the security services who are also headed by various commanders who also managed to come here with their athletes. Our general proud athletes who are here, the media, all the invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, men, I bring you greetings from my own Honorable Mustafa Yusuf who has taxed the National Sports Authority as one of his agencies for sports development to ensure successful organization of today's national cross-country competition, Savelugu 2023. First of all, I want you all to join me with a great applause for all our athletes who were able to make it to this national level. Let's applause them. These wonderful athletes that we have seen here have traveled far to get here. I know all the regions organized the inter-district sports competition to select for the athletes to represent at the national levels. They were with their counterparts, many of them in thousands, and they made it to Savalugu, and we are so grateful. I believe that since the last five years, when the National Sports Authority, backed by the board and with the blessing of our minister, to help us to reintroduce the National Sports Authority's flagship program, which is the National Cross Country event, starting from in Poho. And then later, we were in Ajumako, we went to Sefiriosu. The last year, we were in Achimoda and today we are here in Savalugu. This particular event has been excellent. Especially looking at the impact that it's making. We all know, as Madame indicated, sports has so many benefits. Wherever we found ourselves, the impact on the economy is so visible. I'm told that when those who were able to get here yesterday, a bit later, hardly found even accommodation in any of our hotel facilities. It shows the local economic improvements that we are seeing. The people who are buying, the transportation, and so on and so forth. But aside that, the country is so proud to have such young, talented athletes to represent us at international competitions. And these are the future of Ghana. His Excellency, Danato Dankwe Kufuadu, indicated to us that he will use sports 
as one of the avenues to create opportunities, especially for the teaming youth. And indeed, with its programs of sports infrastructure development and the programs that are being organized at the grassroots level to also international level, I think they are all there for us to see. Not long ago, I think we were in the Olympic Games in Tokyo for the first time in 30 years, we won a medal. Recently, we were in Birmingham for the first time since 1974, we brought the highest medals to this country. And these were all done by our young athletes, the male and females that we can see here. And just recently, the nation was honored for the first time to organize all African games, all the African nations in Ghana for the African games here. It's never happened before, and it's happened under His Excellency Nana Adunangwa Ekufuadu. There's a lot we can do from the National Sports Authority. We know as we speak now, we manage 50 sports associations in diverse disciplines. The athletics is doing so well, and I think we all attest to that fact. There are some athletes who are coming forth, and many other athletes who are international champions. But we believe that the boxing, the football, the swimming, the draft, the badminton, and so and so forth, which make up to the 50 sports associations, all of them should be having some of these national competitions to make impact at the grassroots level. And that the National Sports Authority is going to work with all our stakeholders to ensure that, especially with the great support of our Nanano and our chiefs, we believe that we can succeed. I want to end here with a great appreciation to all our sponsors, especially the Ghana Gas, the ADB, the NLA, and also to our own chief, our majesty, who, when we got here, made a great presentation to support this cause. We are so grateful. And madam, we are grateful to you all. God bless you all. And for you, very soon, you are going to mount the podium to receive your medals. Let it not be the end of it, because we are putting our hope and our confidence in you to travel beyond the seas and bring more laurels to Ghana. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Mr. General of the National Sports Authority, Professor